Hey there boxing fans, this is Ian Thomas and this is Matthias on Boxing. On Saturday the 1st of May we will get to see Dimitri Bivol defend his WBA light heavyweight title against Craig Richards at Manchester Arena live on Sky Sports box office and the zone. Okay as always, firstly tailor the tape. Dimitri Bivol comes into this 17-0. He's got 11 KOs on his record. He comes into this fight at the age of 30. He stands at six foot tall and he's got a 70 inch reach. He's an orthodox stance fighter. While his opponent Craig Richards comes to this fight with 16 wins, one loss, one draw and he's had nine knockouts in this time. He's a slightly older man, 31. He's slightly taller at six foot one and he's got a 73 inch reach. So he's got the reach advantage. Richards is also orthodox stance fighter. So firstly, let's introduce the challenger. Craig Richards, he comes from London, he comes into this fight having won the British light heavyweight title against Shaq and Pitters in December. Richards is probably relatively unknown, but he can certainly bang with both hands. He seems quite cagey in his approach, but he shoots the jab very well and he takes a look at his opponent while looking to throw the heavy shots. Richards is currently ranked 12th by the WBO, 7th by the IBF, and fifth by the WBA at light heavyweight. So this fight against Bivol is his first chance to win or attempt to win a world title. Richards has mainly fought at British level. His last fight against Shaq and Pitters, as I just said, he won the British light heavyweight title. So this jumping up the world level is a massive step up. It's not impossible, but to jump up to from British level to, to world level is a, is a massive, massive step. So We'll see what Richards is made of when he jumps up against Bivol. He'd be mad not to turn this fight down. As I've said, he is, you know, in the top ten of most of the, the, the boxing commissions. So it is going to be interesting. For me, I think Richards' best chance is early, catching Bivol cold. Whether or not he can do that, I'm not totally sure. Um, I've not really seen a lot of Craig Richards uh, apart from the last five fights where he's knocked out four opponents so he's obviously got power what i do like about him is kind of he looks cagey but when he sees an opening he does spring into action and he does look to land big bombs so whether or not he can catch Bivol is remains to be seen but it should be an interesting night so now let's introduce the champion Dmitry Bivol he comes from Russia and he comes into this fight undefeated Bivol has fought by far better opposition in the likes of Isaac Chalimba, Jean Pascal and Joe Smith Jr. So his experience is right up there. Bivol just walks forward, looks to hurt you with every shot, but we must not forget he's a very, very good boxer. So this will be a very tough night for Richards. Bivol comes into this fight having defended his title five times. He is looking to get unification bouts. And he's also hinted he could move down to super middleweight to potentially become a two-weight champion. But Bivol's amateur record is formidable with 268 wins and a 15-loss record, winning multiple titles before joining the paid ranks and the pro ranks in November 2014. For me, the light heavyweight is, is open, in my opinion. You've obviously got Joe Smith Jr., who's the WBO champion. You've got Arthur BTBF, it was the IBF and the WBC champion. And obviously you've got Dimitri Bivol as the WBA champion. So, you know, there's great fights in there. If Richards can show a good fight against Bivol, then the world's his oyster, really. Um, you know, I can see him fighting uh, a better Bev or a, a Joe Smith Jr., definitely. But, you know, let's see what he can do against Bivol. I mean, Bivol, in my opinion, is an outstanding boxer so you know it is going to be difficult for him but you never know if he shows that he's got the the, the, the mental toughness and the, the physicality to to push Bevel back you just never know this is boxing after all Richards will in my opinion need to hurt Bevel early to gain his respect or I think that Bevel is just going to keep walking forward hunting him down and looking to get the KO I can't see anything but a Bevel win with his experience and power and he should be able to get the win on the night. But we shouldn't under underestimate Richards. He can bang. So if he carries that power, that's going to affect Bivol. It could be an interesting night. 
But my prediction is going to be bold and I'm going to go for a B-ball win via a technical knockout. I just feel his experience will show on the night and I think this is Richard's first step up at this level and I think he'll be in for a very difficult night. So there's my prediction, guys. I hope you enjoy the fight. If you've got Twitter and Instagram, please follow us at Matthias on Boxing. Other than that, if you just want to like the video, subscribe to the channel, or even let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win the fight, we really appreciate you tuning into the channel. This is Ian Thomas on behalf of Matthias on Boxing in association with Southwest Boxing Media. Thanks for watching.